close your eyes and gather your mind together. Gather your awareness, gather your thoughts. Bring them right here with the breath. Think about the breath and then watch the breath. Sense the breath as it comes in and goes out. Any amount of thinking that's necessary, there's no problem. Any thinking that goes away from the breath, you want to cut off. Bring it back in. Think of a mother chicken gathering her chicks together. One little chick runs off, she pulls out her wing, extends her wing, brings it back in. Because you want to know the mind. All the parts of the mind have to be here together. But they can watch one another. And if one part of the mind is watching something else, watching the past, watching the future, watching this person over there, that person over here, nobody gets supervised. But when they're all watching one another, they get supervised. That's when the John Cha first sent monks over to England. He didn't want to send one monk to be off by himself. He sent several monks together. He says they can look after one another. In the same way, the different parts of your mind have to look after one another. Otherwise, they can go astray. Now, when they're here together and they don't really watch one another, they can work together. Because every part of the mind has a, the purpose of finding happiness. And when you can all work together for finding true happiness, that's when you really benefit. That's when you see the power of the mind, that it really can make a big difference. So don't let it get scattered off doing a little bit over here and something else over there and something else over there. None of those jobs really get done. It's when everything gets focused on one job, that's when it gets done. Make the mind one. They may have different activities, but they're all circling around one thing. That's when you can be at peace. Even though the work may not yet be done, you know you're working on something good. Everybody's working together. That's how good things get done.